multiplying a three digit number by a one digit number. Carrying over? Starry, do you remember what carrying over is? We learnt about it when multiplying two-digit numbers. Oh, you have forgotten. Don't worry, we will revise it. Let's say we have to multiply 12 by 7. We begin by arranging the multiplication vertically. Next, we multiply the unit's digit 2 in 12 by 7. The product is 14. We write the 4 of 14 in the unit's place of the product. And carry over the one tens from 14 to the tens column and write it above the tens in the multiplicand that is above 1. Now multiply the tens digit 1 in 12 by 7. We get 7 tens. Add to this the carried over 1. We get 8 tens. Write it in the product in the tens place. The product is 84. Starry, that was multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number by carrying over to the tens place. Now let us see how to multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number again by carrying over to the tens place. Multiply 224 by 3. First arrange the multiplication vertically. Next we multiply the unit's digit 4 in 224 by 3. The product is... 12. The number 12 has 2 in the units place and 1 in the tens place. Write the 2 of 12 in the units place and carry over the 1 tens from 12 to the tens column and write it above the tens in the multiplicand that is above 2. Next multiply the tens digit 2 in 224 by 3. We get 6 tens. Add to this the carried over 1. We get 7 tens. 
write it in the product in the tens place. Multiply the hundreds digit 2 in 224 by 3. We get 6 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 672. Oh, wasn't that long story? Yes, but very easy. Now will you help me do another one story? Let us multiply 300 and 18 by 2. First multiply the units digit 8 in 318 by 2. The product is 16. Write the 6 of 16 in the units place and carry over the 1 tens from 16 to the tens column. Write the 1 tens above the tens in the multiplicand that is above 1. Next, multiply the tens digit 1 in 318 by 2. We get 2 tens. Add to this the carried over 1. We get 3 tens. Write it in the product in the tens place. Multiply the hundreds digit 3 in 318 by 2. We get 6 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 636. Now let us revise what we have done. Multiply 119 by 3. First multiply the units digit 9 in 119 by 3. The product is 27. Write the 7 of 27 in the units place and carry over the two tens from 27 to the tens column. Write the two tens above the tens 
in the multiplicand that is above 1. Next, multiply the tens digit 1 in 119 by 3. We get 3 tens. Add to this the carried over 2. We get 5 tens. Write it in the product in the tens place. Multiply the hundreds digit 1 in 119 by 3. We get 3 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 357. Now, one last multiplication. Multiply 109 by 9. First multiply the units digit 9 in 109 by 9. The product is 81. Write the 1 of 81 in the units place. And carry over the 8 tens from 81 to the tens column. Write the 8 tens above the tens in the multiplicand that is above 0. Next, multiply the tens digit 0 in 109 by 9. We get 0 tens. Add to this the carried over 8. We get 8 tens. Write it in the product in the tens place. Multiply the hundreds digit 1 in 109 by 9. We get 9 hundreds. Write it in the product in the hundreds place. The product is 981. Starry, wasn't that a good lesson on multiplying a three digit number? by a one-digit number? I'm sure you enjoyed it.